I have done many things in my life that haven't reflected the three things that make me who I am today. I've been very dependent, I haven't been honest, and I've given up. My sources come from www.finestquotes.com, www.inspirational.com, and www.quotegarden.com. My name is Corey Marjoram, and I'll be talking about the things that make me who I am. Independence, honesty, and never giving up. Through being independent, I have learned how to do things on my own and how to be an independent adult. Through being honest, I know that that has made me a strong person as well. Telling the truth is always better than telling a lie. Never giving up is something I try my best to do. If I can persevere through my commitments, I know it will make me a better person. I don't think it's quitting time when things get a little tough. I try to persevere through them. Those three simple things that I keep in the back of my mind have helped shape me. Being independent is important to me because I'm very prideful and I take a lot of pride in being able to do things by myself. It's very hard for me to ask for help on things that I know for sure I can accomplish by myself. A goal of mine has always been to not take out any school loans for college. I knew that I was going to be the one paying for my school, so when I turned 16, I got a job and put half of my paycheck in a savings account to save for school. I knew that that wouldn't be enough, so I also went to the financial aid office, which is a very hectic place to be at. And it's a lot of paperwork, but I knew that I needed the money to help pay for school. Abraham Lincoln once said, you cannot build character and courage by taking away man's independence. My father bought me my first car, and it was a piece of crap. I, it was breaking down every day, and I had to take it to get fixed all the time. He said the next car was on me, so just like before, I put more money in my savings account, and it bought me the car that I have now, my Honda. Just like being able to do things for myself is important, it's always very important for me to be honest. I believe that it is very important to tell the truth. I don't think people get very far by telling lies. It may feel as though a lie will get you out of a sticky situation, but in the long time, in the long run, it will probably didn't help much. An unknown author once said, a lie may take care of the present, but it has no future. When I was little, I stole a lollipop from a convenience store, and when I got home, I ran to my room, and I started to eat it. My dad figured that something was up, and so he walked in my room while I was eating it, and asked me where I got it. I told him that I had saved it from some other time, and he didn't believe me. So he made me take the lollipop back, and I was punished. I vividly remember him telling me that if I would have told him the truth, he wouldn't have punished me, but he would have made me take the lollipop back. Abraham Lincoln said, no man has a good enough memory to make a successful liar. Last but not least, never giving up. I haven't enjoyed everything that I've ever started, but I've enjoyed finishing things. I strongly believe in doing my best at fulfilling every commitment that I make. When I was in middle school, I played softball. I liked it for a while, but I really wanted to quit. So I stopped going, but my parents told me that I couldn't quit. They said I didn't have to sign another season again, but I had to continue playing. I went to every practice and went to every game. I didn't like it then, but I know that it made me a better person. Rudy Rudiger once said, never quit, don't ever, ever quit. Recognize that stopping now, regrouping, to try a new approach isn't quitting. If you quit, you'll regret it forever. Last year, I bought a kitten. I didn't want a kitten, I'm not a cat person, but my roommate convinced me to do it because she was getting one. That cat was a pain in my butt. She stayed up all night long and always wanted to play and I really wanted to get rid of her. But my boyfriend convinced me to keep the cat. After only a little bit of time, I started to love my cat, Luna. If you give up on things, you might miss out on something that you enjoy daily, like my cat. These three things that I strive to live by have helped me be a genuine person. I encourage everyone to try to be a little bit more independent, honest, and to never give up.